Hello, this is Eric Neidlinger. Hello, this is Eric Neidlinger reporting from the K4KOE Television. Uh, how's it going tonight, uh, uh, Philip? It's uh, going pretty good, boss. That's very good. I'm glad to hear that. I just want to uh, let you know tonight that uh, Star Trek will not be shown. Uh, it's not that the show is off the air or anything. It's just that I have the most important part of their show, their main prop, the Enterprise. Wait a minute. Hang on. Uh, see, as you can tell, whoop, gosh, I, actually it happens on television like this. It lifts off and flies off, and I believe... This is what keeps the people safe, and this goes off from one area, and then this part of the spaceship goes and fights. You're like, you know, last week, the, uh, the what was the name of the group that was attacking the planet? They were the Borg. The Borg, yes. And the Borg, they were uh, quite an unusual race. They were uh, strapped with electronic interfaces all over the place. But uh, uh, I will get this back to the, uh, what is that? That's uh, Fox Network that is, it comes on, uh, Phil? That's uh, ABC. They will be broadcasting tomorrow at 5 p.m. Tomorrow at 5 p.m., but not tonight at 7? That's correct. Today is the 6th of October, 1990. That will be... Okay, I was just getting into it a little bit there. Let me set the prop back. I will send it to them tonight, uh, UPS. Hopefully it'll get through in time. And um, and then we can resume the regular broadcasting of the Star Trek series. Uh, let me give you the conditions right now. Hang on just a second. He's checking weather gauges, ladies and gentlemen. Um, actually, it's 84 indoors, 82 outdoors. Now, it must be a problem. Maybe it's because of the bright lights in here and everything. It's uh, 30.08 inches of mercury as well. Barometric pressures, 30.08. That's roughly one meter of mercury. That's almost. correct. Practically one meter of mercury. That's correct. Uh, it's been a nice weekend so far. I did my lesson plans today. What did you do today? I cut down branches on trees, and I'm still in the process of cleaning up my car. Excellent, excellent. Yes, excuse me. Lights are getting a little bit bright here, and I'm just kind of curious how these glasses look on me. These are real glasses. I don't. They're not working very well. They are real glasses, and you might want to speak just a little louder for the folks at home. All right. How does this sound? That's too loud. Just, just, just emphasize your your upper audio level. To you mean you want me to raise it a few octaves? No, about an octave and a half. Oh, I see. Yeah. Now, looking around the room here, I see various and uh, sundry items. Uh, number one, there's assorted videotapes in here. Other aircraft. Um, the uh, Borg, not the Borg, but the Boris uh, poster on the wall. That's pretty good. And other yes, stuff that was here. that was broadcast uh, earlier already tonight. And this is something that I brought in from school last year. This belonged to one of my students. He said I could have it, and then he came back and said he wanted it back. But I was never able to remember to get it back to him. As you can see, the fins are beginning to dry out. But what this is is a, a an Amazonian uh, piranha, probably from the uh, uh, the inner continent of South America. The Amazon is in South America, is it not? That is correct. Yes. And if you can see that the teeth... It is quite a, 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 and it looks like basically it's a very uh, awesome fish and probably a very mean fish. Usually it, it could tr take anything to trigger them, but uh, if you get a school of about three to four hundred of these, as you can see, um, That's just it probably wouldn't sounds... take but just a few minutes to pick your body clean. That is essentially correct, yes. Well, that's about all I have for this evening. I'm fixing to have to go down uh, downtown to the, um, they're having Oktoberfest tonight. We're going to check out the food situation down there. And if it doesn't work very well, we're going to uh, probably go to Sakura, which is a Japanese steakhouse. And they have the guy's special, which is, um, I mean, the special is the steak and shrimp. Always very good. Well, in light of the Speaking of shrimp, I did throw my cast net today. Did you catch any shrimp? Caught enough for me. Well, in light of the present world situation, it's always good to show the colors, and we will show the colors tonight in accordance with the national mandate. Nobody's not going to accuse us of not being patriotic here on this uh, television station. That's right. 
you ever heard somebody wrapping themselves in the flag, we really do it around here. Well, I think that's about it for me tonight. That sounds good. And uh, we'll be with you next time for the Eric Nylinger Report. Okay. Very nice to see you again, and hope to see you soon in the future. Good night.